today we conclude this amazing journey that we've had with empowered women of goa uh, this has been a very special series for us speaking about empowered women across various sectors doing the work of their lives right here in this beautiful state of ours today we are meeting with uh, somebody who has spent two and a half decades in the education field she is currently serving as the principal of Don Bosco College of Engineering. She is extremely uh, well connected, well respected uh, in her field and across the industry. Dr. Nina Panandikar, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. And we are so happy that you've made this time for us to quickly tell us about you and your empowered life. Um, I'd like to ask you about your two and a half decade long journey in a field which was largely dom dominated by uh, men and you are part of that process where hopefully you're seeing more women getting encouraged in the STEM mindset, the STEM fields. Tell us about your journey. Uh, definitely. Uh, uh, what, what is happening right now is presently we see that uh, uh, the number of women in STEM education is slowly rising but uh, uh, very frankly speaking uh, when it comes to technical education, engineering education till today we see the number of uh, you know girls as compared to boys the percentage is around 25 to at most 30 okay. percent so and you can imagine my time you know some 30 years back uh, we had very few girls going to engineering so uh, my passion uh, was teaching yeah. so if anybody is to ask me like what do you want to be I, if I would give my frank opinion I want to become a teacher mm -hmm. but way back when I answered my 12th standard examination you know I was getting into dentistry as well and engineering as well mm -hmm. uh, so like any other student mm -hmm. I was also confused which career to take up so that's how uh, my dad uh, who himself is a mining engineer he influenced me he said, your passion is teaching, mm. you can be the role model, yes. you can take up engineering and go for the teaching profession. So, and even my uncle uh, is a civil engineer, I met him mm. and I asked him more details about civil engineering mm. field mm. and I took that final call that yes, I will do engineering mm. and okay. at least, you know, be a role model for other students, other students or girl students to join this particular field. And uh, that's how I uh, joined uh, Goa Engineering College and I did my graduation in civil engineering. And uh, uh, t as today my father is no longer with me but uh, he never compared, he never, we are three sisters and he never did that gender bias. He gave us the whatever education we were dreaming of. Yeah. And I remember him, you know, he was, he would proudly mentioned to his friends, his relatives, hey look here, this is my daughter, she is a civil engineer. Yes. So I could see that happiness on his face. Pride, yes. a lot of pride yes. I'm sure, yes. Thank you so much for sharing that journey. Um, I can feel it yes. when you say it, uh, I'm sure you feel very proud yes, that definitely. you made him proud. Yes. Uh, we all need role models, we all need mentors. You are a board member of the of FIRE, yes. the Forum for Innovation, Incubation, Entrepreneurship and Research, as well as the Goa Innovation Council. Yes. And you are part of encouraging hopefully more women to yes. become and to start tech startups yes. tell us about that bit of your life uh, i would say that you know there are very few tech startups you know women taking up tech startups as their profession uh, and i feel the reason or uh, there is a certain reason behind this and one of the reasons which i've just mentioned that there are less students taking up engineering as their career so that is basically the first reason so when engineer uh, the girls join engineering uh, what happens is they graduate you know some of them first of all they are few some of them will take a job you know some of them will do higher studies so the percentage that goes to have their own startup is very very less yes mm -hmm. so we need to do something for that yes. i feel that uh, we can have a panel discussion with role models yes. uh, you, those who have already established you know, we can call, invite the women who are well to have well established tech startups and uh, give awareness session to the stu girl students on the campus. Nice. That could be one of the possibilities that we can do. Secondly, I feel awareness about this uh, startup policy that we have in state of Goa. 
uh, I feel some more awareness has to be generated because there is a provision for women wherein they get about 22,000 if I'm not wrong mm. per month mm. for a year and uh, they get about 10 lakhs as the seed funding right. to for their initial ideation process. Yes. So I think this awareness uh, we should bring, uh, we can bring more awareness about this to the girl students who are presently pursuing their education in engineering. engineering. Also other other girls may be not really pursuing yes. engineering because a tech startup need, need, not, need, need not be engineering. engineering. Yes. But yes, uh, we need role models, role models we need motivational talks, talks yes, to yes, get them yes. started. Yes. We need to build their confidence yes. saying this is how entrepreneurship um, can Works go out. for you. Yes. And uh, also I would like to say that uh, we can in every institution uh, we can have what is called as entrepreneurship cells yes, established. Absolutely. So through that also mm -hmm. now uh, we can have a particular curriculum for them. Mm -hmm. You know we can have audit courses for them wherein yes. they will be getting to know what uh, how a startup has to develop yeah. right from yes. inception yes. when they are in the first year of their uh, studies. So that also we can give a try for that. Very nice. Yes. Um, of course they say that you are either born with an entrepreneurial spirit or no. Yes. But then there's the other school of thought yes. which says that you can develop it in people. Exactly. And I think that's exactly what we need to yes. do. Especially in our girls, yes. right? Yes. Make Definitely. them really independent say that become, become an entrepreneurs there's exactly. no need to go out and yes. search for jobs after yes. that isn't it yes. um, I'd also like to ask Dr. Nina about um, Goa is a big part of how we feel um, the kind of mindsets we develop the kind of confidence the kind of self-belief that we develop our culture um, co contributes so much to yes. us uh, tell us about the Goa angle how do you think mm. being born brought up in Goa um, doing your engineering um, and now now spending the last three decades here what has Goa lent to you as a person I personally believe that you know things are changing yeah. uh, it is not like the earlier days uh, most of the families were orthodox I don't think now presently you know any of the families in Goa yeah. they are thinking in that terms yeah. so there is a lot of freedom for the girls to choose their career yes, yes they can do what they like yeah. So I think that culture is coming up and it has already come up I feel in our state of Goa. Yes, you've been part of a lot of research papers, worldwide research, global conferences and journals. Um, you even written something about environmental issues in India way back in 2008. Um, many of your research papers are being published in journals across the world. Tell us what has been uh, something that gives you maximum satisfaction when you think back about it. Which one of those? Which of the research papers, yes. right? So uh, I feel uh, I have done my MTech yeah. in uh, NIT Suratkal. I also did my PhD in NIT Suratkal. So during my PhD, the work, research work that I did was submitted to a very reputed in, uh, re conference. Uh, which was organized by University of Liverpool in association with University of Oxford yes. and the work that I presented uh, that is uh, stochastic analysis and uncertainty analysis in pushover analysis that is a earthquake engineering field so that was well appreciated you know by uh, the researchers out there and uh, my paper was then selected in a very reputed civil engineering journal American Society of Civil Engineer so that gave me really uh, that w that I, f I feel that that is the best research uh, that was published yes. and and I'm really satisfied with that uh, particular paper being published in such a reputed journal. Good for you ma'am you've done um, the hard work for it we are so proud to um, have you uh, on this show we are so proud that you are heading the engineering college at Don Bosco. Um, we'd love to know about students and you've seen maybe two decades of students yes. now what do you think has changed over the last two decades uh, I personally feel that you know students are students yeah. you, know, you need to be with them you need to motivate them all yes. the time yes. and what has really changed is the digital transformation yes, absolutely. yes so now you know everything has moved on to digital technology mm -hmm. Nowadays students they get everything you know if you just google you get all the information so it's a pretty tough task for the teachers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they need to be updated yeah. they need to be updated with the latest technologies yeah, yeah that's what I feel about the students yeah. but uh, my love for the students is mm -hmm. the same you know the 
I I really enjoy being with them. Yeah. I really get pleasure, you know, to be with them, counsel them. Yes. So that's the satisfaction, and that's what uh, my aim was, and my passion was right from uh, my childhood. So uh, my vision was, you know, yes. I want to become a teacher. Yeah. So yes. Um, so um, it's really again. nice to be surrounding with such beautiful people around yes. you. Yes. And that's my students. That's what I feel. Absolutely. Um, so tell us about purpose you know because what what i can see is you had this strong passion for something and you were able to de develop it i meet a lot of students and there's so much confusion saying ma'am we don't really know what to do so how does one actually find a purpose how would you guide a student saying this could be the purpose that you can move towards it's so important for them yes so uh, especially uh, when it comes to you know admission rounds yes so they are all confused uh, what to take up yeah so uh, i have started here what is called as career guidance yes. for the students of standard 12th standard and even 10th standard and we have started this program and we have it every uh, in month of may okay. wherein we invite the students to be on our campus not to give publicity to the students but with a vision and a mission that they should you know know actually what engineering is all yes. about yes. they should know the various fields uh, what are the career prospects ahead mm -hmm. they should know all about that before mm -hmm. taking because i have realized that there are certain students who get lost mm -hmm. they take up computer engineering and finally they feel that that is not mm -hmm. their mm -hmm. cup of tea yeah. so uh, such thing happens mm -hmm. so this guidance that is given initially it is it is like xyz whoever comes my relatives my mm -hmm. friend i ask them please come it's not that you join my institution mm -hmm. no wherever you go be happy you should know and you should like you should love what you do Absolutely. so uh, that's 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 way i uh, bring about all these things like yeah so perfect so um, it sounds great to us uh, you have told us about your life in goa you've told us about how you started out in engineering your role models um, things that bring you great satisfaction and the fact that students bring you so much joy yes. it's been wonderful we we just want this very sharp uh, conversation with empowered women uh, one last bit tell us about what you think about the role of women and how do you think uh, if at all it has changed over the years um i feel um, over the years if you say more and more women are moving out they are getting empowered yes. and empowerment happens through education yes. not like the earlier times mm -hmm. and it makes a difference when a woman is educated the entire family gets educated yes. so uh, it's very important that women updates and gets it goes out yeah. and gets to do the things what she likes what she wants, yeah. what she wants. Uh, that's my message to all uh, beautiful ladies around the world or uh, across the nation that you have to be just you be confident be you Perfect. That's what I would like to tell all the women that they are what they are.